How have you studied Shakespeare? Well, I guess like primarily at school, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. Primarily at school, yeah. Mostly. But then also like coursework and uh, yeah, we did pretend it was good memories, GCSE. Yeah. yeah. But then also like outside school, like in terms of you know the film adaptations and theatre and things. Yeah, I think the the modern ab- ad- film ad- adaptations are really important. I think lots yeah. of people say Shakespeare and they're like, oh, and then they don't realise actually yeah, yeah. so many stories now are based on it. So, yeah, definitely. So it's really quite hypocritical. And as I've said before, it's best if it's seen in the, the light it was meant to be seen in, which is, which is theatrical being performance. Well, I mean, like, the film adaptations, I think, are really good because... It gives, it, it gives it to a much wider audience. Like, people yeah, necessarily people wouldn't go to the theatre. No, they wouldn't, no. You can see it in, in the cinema, which I suppose is... You know, the theatre isn't as popular as it used to be, whereas now films. Which, kind of which, Shakespeare, that. which Shakespeare texts have you, have you guys looked at? I've studied uh, Romeo and Juliet last year for my coursework. Oh, that's been I've good. Merchant of Venice, Midsummer. Yeah, I've done Merchant of Venice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I've seen Merchant of Venice. I've seen Merchant of Venice. Studied that. Was it good? It was. Have you seen the theatre or the film as a film? Oh, there's a film I've seen that. Yeah, definitely. I haven't seen the film yet. Of course, everyone knows Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, um, I know Romeo and Juliet's the cliche you want to do, but when you look at any modern love story, it's all based on that forbidden love yeah. that was initially introduced Definitely. in Shakespeare. Romeo and Juliet, that's so true. Mm. Yeah. Fate, oh, fate in Shakespeare. Fate in Shakespeare. Yes. Well, well, what isn't well, fate in Shakespeare? That's let's, a good question, let's be honest. To be honest, yeah. The whole, uh, as an omniscient author uh, and somebody who manipulates his characters, Shakespeare... So beautifully. Yeah, beautifully, beautifully. Yeah, Shakespeare brings uses fate as a, as his weapon to to bring the whole story together. Yeah. The downfall of every major character I can think of is, 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 a, is a result of fate. Take for example Romeo and Juliet. The fact that Juliet never gets her of course, letter. Of course. Matter of fate. The thing is, as well, I think he bestows this fate onto people a lot of the time. He, he bestows the power to manipulate manipulate the story onto mm, people. You don't. Look at the play or read the text and think, oh god, you know that's going to happen. Yeah, that's like, going to happen. Oh, it's oh definitely let me not, guess. Definitely, it's definitely no. not predictable. No, it's not, and that and that's, is um, that's a credit to him really and his and his well, use of fate. Now you could say almost that Shakespeare is predictable. You read read <laughs> stories and think, oh, I know what's going to happen. Or rather, yeah. like we said because earlier, stories stories, stories that are again. written, yeah, later on. Now yeah. because of Shakespeare, yeah. he's made he's made the unpredictable predictable. Yeah, yeah. So I suppose for our modern you know, appreciation of Shakespeare. It's kind of like when you look at Van Gogh and you've seen so many Van Gogh imitations that you don't appreciate the original. The original. Whereas, but is the original, the original fate as Shakespeare would have known and loved and used the same type of fate that we use today or we, we experience today or we might experience today? If I suppose it's oh, fate itself can't have changed, but our interpretation of it In what can mean? have. In, in the past particularly because religion played more of a, mm. a role it would be Definitely. fate this is what god wanted that's fate uh, what, have, what have we decided about fate in shakespeare that it's it explicitly linked to character we've linked it to religion in respect that religion would extinguish it so yes. we've, it we've set it on. we've set it apart from all sort of classic and we've discussed how shakespeare uses fate in a way uh, so perfectly he doesn't overuse it and he doesn't Definitely. but he uses it just the, to the right extent it's fundamentally timeless it is timeless. It is. His use of fate is timeless. So it is the same there sort is, of ideas now as it was. Yeah. There's still things that happen that now thing. that we can't explain. Exactly, and everyone, yeah. the world over, and in yeah. many years yeah. to come, will still be able to relate that fate that in, that's in Shakespeare yeah. plays to their own lives. Of course. Because the inexplainable, in the terms of Shakespeare, will always remain inexplainable. 